Good morning, everybody. It's Teresa McAuliffe here with my angel cards laid out in front of me, and I'm here to offer some angel messages and angel guidance for the week ahead. So as I came on here this morning to prepare and ask the angels for direction, the first thing that they spoke to me very clearly about was compassion. So really the week ahead is a week where the angels are encouraging us to look deep inside of our hearts and to call on them to help us to embody and integrate the energy of compassion, real compassion. So that's the first thing, that's the first message. Now you can hear my doggies in the background uh, starting to get a bit restless. So hopefully they will behave as I do my reading. So now I'm just going to ask for some cards for a general reading. So you know if you want a full personal reading, I do offer that service. So you can pop onto the website under book a session and you'd find that in there amongst other services. Okay, so I'm going to get three cards, they tell me. So one. Get distinctly the card, two. And the third one. Okay, so here's the third card. Okay, so we have three cards. So the first one is children. The second one is self-acceptance and the third one is blessings. So now let me go back and ask the angels what they are asking me to bring through about the children. So there's my dog. Uh, he's very tuned in and there he's beginning to <laughs> offer us a little song to help the children. So it really is time for us to think about the children, the whole lot of the children on planet Earth. So if we have children of our own, and if we don't have children of our own, it doesn't matter. The children are our future. And I really would encourage you now to speak with the angels and ask them how you can best serve the children. So that may be your own children, maybe your grandchildren, it may be somebody else's children, or it may be that you want to work with the beautiful angels to ask them to bring their loving blessings down to everybody that can make decisions on behalf of the children to make sure that children are safe, loved and protected by the angels. So that's the first message. So remember the compassion is coming in and this is compassion for everything. Compassion for the decision makers and ask the angels to make sure that the children are put out there first because they cannot speak for themselves. So that's really important. The second card is self-acceptance. And you know, this to me is no surprise because the angels have been telling me and I've been working with different groups and different people for individual healings and self-acceptance is something that's really coming up. You know, we are massive spiritual beings housed in this physical body. And it's really important that we accept ourselves fully. And, you know, sometimes we, we feel we have imperfections, um, you know, whether that be in body shape, body size, how we think, what we do. Um, but that's all illusion, really. We're beautiful, we're perfect, we're magnificent at our core. So it's up to us then to accept all of that. And once you accept everything that you perceive to be wrong about you, then you can start working at stripping off the layers, layer by layer by layer by layer, and bringing the compassion in. So I can see why they're asking for compassion to rule everything for the week ahead. So accepting yourself as the old saying goes, warts and all. And once you really accept yourself, then you can go about, you know, bringing yourself back right into your core, into your authentic true self, just meeting your authentic true self and living from that space. And that will really, really raise your vibrational level. And then the third card is that they're showering us with blessings. Okay, so 
the feeling that I'm getting with this is that it's very bright and there's a lot of color, you know, so the angels are not going to just um, come in to heal us on one level. They're going to heal us on all levels because their blessings are here for us to receive. So whatever it is, we need to be blessed with. So whether that's good health, whether it is, you know, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual. So whether it is abundance of a description, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the angels are here and they're going to shower you with the blessings that are needed by you at this time. So that's really beautiful. Um, there's always something, you know, that we hold on to and that we kind of feel that we just cannot let go of. Angel Gabriel is very much around as well. I can feel his presence here. And of course, Michael, Michael saying, don't forget about me. Archangel Michael actually came to me again this week. Many years ago, Archangel Michael showed me how to use um, his blue cloak of light and he gave it to me and he gave it to me to help others as well so that I could offer it to them and show them how to use it. So I'm going to actually show people how to use that. So uh, Sunday night I have Relight Your Fire, which is really a group healing session. Let me see, this is turning to blue now that I'm talking about Michael. And um, I'm going to work with Archangel Michael for the next two Sunday nights and bring in his cloak so that people can also use it. Now, I just want to see what it is we need to surrender. Okay, so when we really surrender, we hand it over. Okay, so surrender to the magic of who you are. So that really ties in with, you know, the self-acceptance and, you know, to receive the blessings and to see yourself as a perfect, beautiful, spiritual being. So it says we all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. You can see the unicorn and the sunset and the girl just sitting there present being present, just being herself. So by just being you, surrender to the magic of who you are. So just let go, really let go. Feel the compassion oozing through you and do remember who you are. You're a magnificent spiritual being having a human experience. Now, a reading wouldn't be a reading without a card from Archangel Michael. So I have this deck for many years and I still love it. So I can see Pal, uh, our dog, it has settled down now, but it's amazing how he came out to really uh, reiterate the need for us to take care of the children. Oh, wow, this is a strong card, it's jumping as well. So it's time to leave that unhealthy situation. Archangel Michael, what part of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy life changes. So healthy changes in your life. So again, this is all tying in beautifully. So what are you releasing? What are you surrendering? What are you letting go of? And you can ask Archangel Michael to really come to you and help you to release that. And that's, you know, he has such a big job. He's here to protect us and to keep us safe and to help us to let go of the ties that bind us really, you know, everything that's unhealthy, all those etheric cords. And he helps us to be wrapped in his blue light so that we are protected, you know, in all the decisions that we make and in all the endeavors that we decide to take. Now, I have um, a lovely deck of um, Archangel cards and I just want to take one and just ask, for an angel for the week okay so which angel is here you know guiding us overall so that we can work with all of this during the week and gabriel is saying just remember that i'm here too so gabriel helps us with our intuition with our inner knowing he announces things as well so just be mindful especially when you are going to bed at night you might just call on gabriel to um, inspire you because he will bring in the inner knowing for you help you to tap into that deep part of you. Okay, so it seems to be two together, so let's go with the two. So Angel Uriel says, you know what to do. 
trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. And Shamuel, beautiful angel of the heart, says your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. Okay, so you have two beautiful angels that are going to help you overall. So a blessed career change. So if you're in a job that you feel is like a dead end for you or that is not fulfilling you or it's not your soul's purpose, you can ask for help to change that, you know, and once a door closes, another one opens very easily. So now that's our guidance for the week ahead. And I um, hope you enjoy this. And if you would like a full reading, a personalized reading for yourself, which will take a full hour and there will be some healing included in it, you can book that remotely on my website. Or presently I am in Dublin every second Tuesday at Halo Therapies in Swords. And I have just two places left next Tuesday, uh, the 26th. So God bless you. Have a beautiful week. And thank you for being with me.